Hey, everybody. Hey, how are y'all? How y'all doing? It's Amy. I am working on getting everything set up so that I can see you on my on my feed so I can see your comments. It's nice when I have two screens that I can look at because otherwise I don't see them. There we go. I found it. Got the volume off. And there we go. Now we can talk. So how is everybody? I'm sorry I'm a little late. I got some disturbing news this morning. Uh, well, actually, it's not disturbing. It's, it's good. Um, I don't know. I know most of you know I'm a transplant patient. And, well, I went to see my transplant doctor, well, my newish one. But I also sent a message to my transplant team down in New Orleans, and I sent my doctor there um, a, hey, thanks for, you know, putting up with me for so many years, and the tests all went well, and he texted me back, it's awesome, and I asked him when he was retiring, and he says, at the end of the year. So for me, that was completely disturbing, shocking, and not really shocking, but I didn't like it anyway. I see that we're having some issues with some live, but it says we're going, so I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, I am going to be recording this, and I'm going to flip it over for my peeps in North Carolina. So, hi, North Carolina Demos. If you're watching this after the fact, because I'm going to pre-record it, because they wanted me to do live and for them, and I just didn't have time to do both. So, I'm going to post this to them, too. So, um, anyway, without further ado, I have combined our Celebrate Sunflowers that came and carried over from last year with our artistically inked uh, stamp sets. So I'm gonna flip you over and we're gonna make some pretty and have a beautiful fall card. So hold just one second and let's take my ugly mug off so you don't get to see the rest of the mess around behind me as I've been working on stuff for my customers to be mailed out. Let me turn on a little light too so you can see a little better. There we go. And so as you can see, this is the card we're gonna do. I'm gonna bring it up a little closer for you. So this is what we're doing. Isn't it beautiful? I love the way this came out. I wasn't so sure I was gonna like it. Tinker with it quite a bit, and I fell in love. So, let me scroll this over so I can see comments. So if you're here, uh, tell me hello. My website's telling me it's having trouble playing this, but yet I see it online, so I don't know what's going on here so hold on a second let me go back and if it shuts off I'm sorry I'm making sure that I'm here it says I'm here ah come on get, there we go okay so it says I'm here all right I'm just making sure that my fingers are showing up okay so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna color these sunflowers real quick um, they're very simple to color I didn't get really fancy with the colors I do have to get my cinnamon cider and soft suede out so I can make the centers all right so if you can see here I have cinnamon cider soft suede in the middle I have the um, so saffron or daffodil delight whichever you prefer mango melody and Cajun craze for my blends on the flowers and my leaves here you could either use mossy meadow I'm going to use granny apple green because I have some already cut out that are granny apple green and I don't want to switch them up so we're going to move this out of our way I also have a couple of pieces cut out what you're going to need is this is just a five and a quarter or five and a half by four and a quarter of shimmery cardstock which works well with the blends and I like the way the colors come out on that and I have stamped this I don't know if you can see it it's shimmery but it's the shimmer white cardstock and I've stamped in memento tuxedo black ink we're gonna have just a card base you know whichever way you want your card base to be and then I have a piece of the corkboard cardstock and I only want to use this piece right here but I didn't want to waste all of this so I decided to cut this out in the middle so I could actually use this on something else so I thought that would be a great way to incorporate my piece in front and still have this beautiful 
texture behind it, which I love this cork board, but I hate to use it because I don't want to use all of that. So this is just a piece of four and a quarter or four by five and a quarter. And I again took something in the center and cut it out so that I could have that. You could just cut out if you want to, whatever you want to do. But I wanted to save some of this. I didn't want to use it all. So I'm going to put that aside. We also have a piece of, uh, this is four and a quarter by five. It should be four by five and a quarter, I think. Yeah, and then I have a piece of basic white, which is three by three and three quarters by five. So we're going to have this as well. And then I have just some pieces of the brushed metallic. I'm not sure if we carry that anymore in a piece of gold. And these are all cut out from the um, sunflower dies. And then I have some extra sunflowers and stuff already stamped and colored. So we're not spending all the time doing these. So we'll set those aside as well. So that should give you your dimensions of what you need to create this. And then you'll need a scrap of white to do your thank you. You could use scraps off of this to just stamp your thank you right here. Okay? And then we'll fussy cut it out. So I'm going to start with doing my centers of my sunflowers. Both of them are going to be the same. And I'm just going to do these kind of quick. Not going to be very particular and meticulous. I can go back and add color after we get done. I just want to give you guys a quick way to do these. And I know most of you know how to use your blends on the demo site. So you really don't need the schooling on this. Now my customers, on the other hand, probably would like me to do a complete little demo on this and I, I've tried but I can't really teach them very well because they're in New Orleans which is where I would love to be. This is the light um, cinnamon cider and then I'm going to take the dark so saffron and I'm just going to go around these edges here in the middle where it's really dark and I'm just going to kind of swirl in there. I'm not looking to make it serious dark everywhere but just where it's really dark from the stamp set. And then I'm going to go around these edges as well with this dark, soft suede. So I'm going to do this on both of them so we get that really dark spot in the middle and on these edges because these edges are really dark on a sunflower. And I love sunflowers. I just love, love, love them. So now I'm going to take the light, soft suede, and I'm going to come in here and just add a little bit of coloring on the edges, as you see on the outside of where I put the dark, the dark soft suede, I'm just going to add some of this, kind of give it a three layer look, but leaving that cinnamon cider all by itself. And then I'm coming back over with my light cinnamon cider on all of them and just blending it all together. So it looks like it's blended and looks really nice. And if it gets too dark for you in some areas, you can take your um, your blender pen that comes with them and just take out some of that. I'm going to use this right here. And I'm just going to go in some of these areas and lighten this up just a hair. There we go. Just so it gives it, you know, that big, thick deep dimension on the inside and a little light and then a little darker. So now we're done with our browns. I'm going to set those aside. I'm going to just do our greens real quick. The greens are super easy. Again, if you're here, please comment and like and subscribe because this will go to my YouTube channel. I am using Granny Apple Green. I'm starting out with the light Granny Apple Green and I'm just going to cover the whole leaf. Looks like I need a whole new Granny Apple Green set, so that's not fun. That just tells me that I use it a lot. I wish we had a color in between Granny Apple Green and Mossy Meadow that's, like, Garden Green would be really great. I would love a Garden Green. Actually, we need to go over here, too, but I'm going to use the other tip for this because it's a little more detailed. Checking my, everything looks like we're still going good. Still trying to get my subscribers up on YouTube. So if you're here, please leave me a comment, a like, a share, subscribe to the channel. That would be awesome. 
Now I'm going to take my dark granny apple green and I'm going to come in here and make some lines. Kind of follow the feathering of these lines. So, and don't worry if you get out of the lines because we're going to cut these out. Just to give it a little more dimension. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. So this is, that's pretty much all we do for our green. I am going to come back in on this one because there's some spots that I didn't quite get. And you could come in and add an extra layer of color to blend it if you want. It makes it a little richer. I just want to make sure I get all the color to the edges. All right. And if you guys hear the kids outside, apparently my grandkids have some friends over. Which is great. I'm glad for them, but you know. All right. Next, I'm going to have some So Saffron. And with this So Saffron, we're going to color all of our petals. All of them. Every single one of them. I'm going to color all these petals light. Lightly. I don't care if I get all of the tips right now. I can go back with the light when I blend it at the very end and get the tips again if I need to. But I'm literally just going to come in here and color all of these. This is one of those things I wish my granddaughter and I could sit and do. She loves to color. But she seems to uh, have grown into her preteens. And, you know, sometimes you don't always want to be around them. You know how that is. Love her dearly. We took them out for ice cream. Uh, a couple of days ago, we did ice cream, took them to the park. Um, what else did we do with them? We took them down to our property and let them play in the, uh, there's a creek at the back of our property. So they all went and played in the creek and had a good time. It was nice and shady on our property. I told Pops, I said, next time we go, we need to bring me a chair. Because, you know, it's not so fun for me. But I love watching them have fun. I also need to bring some bug repellent because you know it was crazy out there in all that shade and unspoiled outside all right so there's all of our yellow you could actually leave it like this I think it looks just beautiful but I'm going to come in here and color this and again if you get out of the lines it's okay we are going to cut these out they're not going to stay on this but you need this great paper to color these in and actually the blends work so much better on this paper of course watercolor works just as well too if you wanted to do this in watercolor this part you could do anything you wanted to do in any color you wanted all right I did the so saffron the light so saffron on all of the flowers now I'm going to take my mango melody and I'm going to use the dark one because I want it to be rich I'm going to use the thin tip and I'm going to come in here and just follow all of these little lines and I'm starting at the bottom and making sure my bottom is super full of these dark colors. And I'm just following all these dark lines and even extras. It's fine. And making sure that it's really dark towards the edge. And then you're just going to come out and, again, go in all of these extra little leaves real quick. And fall into those. And you're just going to add some color. Like I said, my North Carolina demos peeps, I'm sure you all have got how to do this. Probably even better than I do. You know, I'm still, I'm not that first in this. I've only been doing it under 10 years. And there's a lot of people in there that have been doing it a lot longer than me. That's for sure. All right. And I think I'm almost good. Going to get all of these over here. And then we're going to add more color to this. Because, you know, a sunflower is so layered in color. It has darks, especially the older it is, it has darker colors to it. And well, this is fall, so we want it to look like it's been there for a while. I'm going to do the same thing with this smaller flower. And I'm going to come in and put some of these dark mango melody tones into this. And again, you're just kind of following these lines that they put in the, the stamp itself, which makes it so much easier the one thing I do like about Stampin' Up, they, they give you where to put the color, which is so nice. Now I'm going to take the light Cajun Craze, the same 
pen and I'm going to actually outline this center with it. Okay, and then I'm going to come in and streak in this color just like I did the Mango Melody, paying real close attention to getting the bottom of it really dark. And as you can see, I'm kind of going a little everywhere. I'm putting this color everywhere in here because, you know, it's a layered flower. It's got color, it's rich, it's full, and it's been on the stem for a while. We want it to show it. And in these areas that are really bunched and dark with lots of lines, you want to really fill it in with color. And if you're here and you're watching, please let me know. Say hello. Um, what I do at the end of the week, when I go next week, I will put someone's name in for a drawing on any one of these cards. And I will mail it to you so you get to see it in person. And it is always much better in person than to see it on a video. I always leave it out for a week. And at the end of the week, so I'll be mailing out one from last week, uh, Monday. All right, so there's the light Cajun craze. And I'm going to come back in with the dark. You could stop here and leave them like this. But I'm going to come in with one more layer of dark. And again, I'm going to go around this sunflower center. Because I want that to be really dark. Because this is where all the color really is on your sunflower. And then we're going to fan out. And we're really only going to put this one in the really dark spaces. Like right here. We've got some really dark lines. And right up in here, we want to just really go where these lines are real thick and bold. And it's dark. You just want to add that color in there. So as you can see, I'm not doing everywhere, but just the real thick lines and a few up in here. And I'm gonna leave it at that. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. And there's not a lot on this little guy to put on here, this really dark one. So I'm just putting a little bit in here, not, not crazy. And then I am going around the center, just like I did the other. All right, now I've got those colors. The last thing I will do is take my So Saffron again, and I will color all of my tips. And I will blend this in, paying close attention to blend. And I'm not really even paying attention. I'm just blending is what I'm doing. And if you've got any tips that you've missed that you want to add some color to, this is the time you would do it. But I'm just really, I don't mind some of the white showing because I think it adds character to it. So that's what I'm doing now is I'm just blending in with my So Saffron again just so that it blends in. There we go. Those are all colored now. And I'm going to take a second and just come over here and uh, use my dies and cut them out. The beauty of doing them all on one sheet is I can cut them all out at one time as well. Especially if I use my big... Um, Oh, it's a embossing cut machine. That's what they call it now because I can never remember. And the worst part about this whole sunflower is trying to figure out which way it goes. I always forget, and I haven't used it in a while. So it takes me a while to find the edge. And I had it. But then, you know. It changes, you know. There we go. I found it. Woohoo! And then we do our leaves. And by the way, I stamped all of this with my Stamparatus. So that way I could get good, dark, crisp in images on one sheet. Now we're just going to cut them through.
and hope they cut correctly. Because, you know, without the magnetic board, sometimes they move on you. And it looks like we did a good job this time. Woohoo! Might have shifted. No, I shifted just a hair, but it's okay. All right, so we've got all of our dyes. We can put these up now. And back into our sunflower. This is the sunflower set that we're using. And I keep all of mine together. And I try to put them all back so that I can find them all later. Because you never know. Things move. Let me put these other dies back. They're right here. These are my little extra leaf pieces. I don't want to lose those. All right, we've got those all in here. My stamps are still on my stamparatus. So we'll put those back later. And this is the stamp set we're going to use next. I have all of our pieces cut out. I'm going to save this to do my uh, sentiment on. There's our little pieces. Put them in the corner. We have to do our background page now. Saving this for our sentiment, which will be thanks here. And these are the stamps for the artistically inked. We're going to use this stamp and the thanks are what I'm planning on using. Or you could use hello. You could use whatever sentiment you want. That's up to you. So I'm going to start out with this one. And I've already got it on a block over here. And we're going to use three different colors for this. And let me get all of my my blends out of the way so we can actually work here. Okay. So now I have three colors. Daffodil Delight, Mango Melody, and Cajun Craze. Those are the three colors I have chosen to use. I'm going to start with the lightest color. That way I can just keep stamping and not have to worry about cleaning this off. I'm going to take my three and three quarters by five piece of white cardstock. And we're just going to ink up and stamp away. This has no rhyme or reason. You could make it so that it goes in. And look at the ink splotching that it gives it. I love this stamp. And you could go over it. It doesn't hurt it. But remember, we're going to put three colors on here. So you kind of want to, in your mind, divide it by three. So I'm going to leave it just like this. It's, you know, very simple. Not a lot. Now, my other one, if you look at it, I went with a lot of bold color because I wanted it to show through. And I put so much color on it that I didn't like that it didn't give me any variation the way this does. So I ended up putting some water droplets on it, which works just as well. Now I'm going to take my Mango Melody because I used the very lighter color. I'm just going to go directly into this and literally stamp along. Now my Mango Melody probably needs to be re-inked. So this one I will go over several times. And remember, you're going to go over this and you're going to need to make sure that you have a third color coming in here. So this is going to be the color that really is kind of full in color and not so inky looking. But I'm going to leave it like that because I kind of like that and the Cajun Craze We'll come back in. I can go back and add more color. I'll just need to clean off the ink pad. So now I'm going right into my Cajun Craze, which should be pretty wet because I don't use it as often. My Mango Melody definitely needs to be re-inked because I love that one. And it's okay if you get a little into your other color. Works out just fine. And you could stamp off where you have a little lighter. And I'm actually going to go one more time just so it kind of puts a little bit in here. And I'm just doing it really lightly. And that's all. That's it. That's all you do for the background page. And it looks super cool. So you can see it without being on anything. It looks cool. I just think it looks beautiful. So I'm going to put this out of the way because it's nice and inky. So now we're going to start building our page here. So if we've got our other card over here, if we want to make it just like this one, we're going to put this similar to this right here. Part of this is going to come off, so we'll have to trim it. Then we've got two pieces here, and we're going to put these up this way. 
If they go off, it's okay because you're going to have something behind it. So we're going to put them like this. We've got another piece. I really want the green to stay. So it's going to kind of go in the corner. And then I've got another one. And again, I'd like the green to stay. So I'm going to put this one over here. And we're going to go ahead and adhere these down. There's no dimensionals on this. This is flat. Your sentiment is raised. So I'm going to go ahead and put the flower down first. And I'm not putting it all. I'm just doing the center. Move these. And I'm going to put this right here. And then put our little leaves on top. Well, they won't be on top. They'll be right underneath. Just like so. And like I said, if they show up a little over, it's fine. They're going to show up over on our, um, our cork designer series paper. And I'm going to stick this one right in here. There you go. And then we're going to put this one on, on the edge. It's okay if you get it off. Be like this. And I'm kind of letting it dry a little bit before I go clip it off. And then we're going to put a little of this. Now I did cut extra pieces because I wasn't sure if I would want more. And we're going to leave this one just like this. Kind of want a little more. There we go. There. So we're going to have room for a thanks. And I got to remember I have a ribbon coming in here. So there we go. All right. That's good. Kind of let this dry a little bit before you start cutting. But I have some of this metallic ribbon that I used. Now this is retired. You won't be able to get it, but any copper that you have will work. You could use a copper strip, but you won't get a bow with it. So if you have a copper color that you could paint, um, that really would be up to you. This is the only thing I really used that was retired. So I'm just gonna trim this enough so that it goes behind my piece. And I'm going to go just like this, and I'm going to wrap it around and put it on the back. So what I'm going to do is take my tape runner, and I'm just going to put some tape right here where I know it's going. And then I'm going to flip it over, and I'm going to put it on. Just like this. Kind of make sure it goes underneath my flowers, because I'm going to have that thanks pop in there. Make sure it's straight. That's always a good thing to do. And our sunflower can go over it. There we go. Just like that. And you're going to glue this so this will not be an issue later. And we're going to leave it sit just like that. Now I'm going to take my little pieces here. I had three of them. Well, I only have two on that. So we'll just do this. So I have gold and I have brushed metallic. I think the brushed metallic is still in there. But you could get this out of the new holiday catalog. There is a gold set of mix, or you could use, um, I don't remember what we've called it in there, but I'll put it in the, um, the supply list so that you'll see what it is when I put this on the blog and on the YouTube, just so you'll see it. All right, and I'm just putting a little bit of glue just so that it stays down, and you can put it underneath if you'd like. I'm going to kind of go this way. Just like this. And then we've got our gold piece. And I do know the gold is in the annual catalog. And then we're just going to lay this right so that it kind of goes in the middle underneath. And it gets a lot of glue everywhere, but it's okay. And I play with the way they lay. There you go. Just like that. Just so you've got it glued down, and then we're going to put a glue with a um, bow. So you're going to actually just make a bow out of this. And you can tie it. You can use a bow maker. Whatever works for you. I think a bow maker would be easier. You'd be able to get a tighter bow. But, you know, it's okay. So I'm just using a small bow. I'm going to go really small and pull it out some so I get it nice and tight. Here we go pop it back up. Maybe a little bit bigger. There we go. 
and then trim it off. And I'm going to take some glue dots. I'm trying to find those. Where's my glue dots? I have the little bitty ones, but I want a bigger one. I want to make sure it's going to stay. I guess we'll use the little ones because I my big ones are hiding. So I'm going to take my little glue dots here with my pick tool. And I'm just going to put them on the back. You could use more than one, which I probably will, because I want to make sure it's going to stay. All right, let's see. Get it on there. If it'll stay and not stick on me. And then I'm just going to put it right over where my ribbon meets my little sprigs here. So now that it's, of course, stuck down because I've got all this glue and adhesive on it. So there's the base of it. Now that it's kind of set, we can take our scissors and trim. You can either trim this way or you can put it back on your um, trimmer and trim it up back to three and three quarters by five. And making sure that all of it's nice and trim. Except for don't trim your ribbon again. There we go. And not your sprigs. You want to leave your sprigs run free. So we got one more piece. There we go. So now that's what we've got. We move these out of our way. You could save these little bits and pieces to put on the inside, whatever works for you. Now we're going to take this and we're going to put this on here like this. Okay, you do that or you can go ahead and lay it all here, which I'll probably do that first. Take our cork that we've done and we're just going to put a little glue on here. You don't need a ton. But I do like the fact that I don't didn't want to waste all that beautiful cork paper by putting this big piece of cork on here. Now on the original card it is offset but because I cut it out this way, the other way I did it was really bad. <laughs> it was, I cut a quarter I did a half inch all the way around and I cut it in slices, half inch slices and then just try to piece it on and that didn't work out so well. You could actually take this, uh, my other piece, you could take this and pop this up with dimensionals if you'd like. I'm not going to, I'm just going to put it down because my thank you will be dimensional enough. In my opinion, I don't want it to be too much to mail. So I'm just making sure we've got some glue on the back. And I'm just going to put this so that it's centered on this beautiful cork. And it gives it just a nice little flare. Just like this. So now all we have to do is put our sentiment on. Which I'm going to stamp it in Cajun Craze. And then we're going to fussy cut it out. And let's see. Let's get the thing. I know most people already have all of this done and put together, but I didn't. Not today. I was too busy and got distracted. Uh, Wednesday I had my test for my annual transplant, 27 years, and everything looks pretty good. Doctor's not thrilled with me because I won't do the tests that he wants, but you know, it's okay. It'll be all right. I'm sure he'll live. I'm sure I'll live for a little while longer anyway. So that's what I was doing Wednesday. When I came home, I had planned to put everything together for everyone. But I slept all day. The test was really exhausting, and they did surprises with me and wanted to do a few other things, and I wasn't prepared, and it was just physically exhausting. So now I'm going to actually fussy cut this out now that I have stamped it on my same cardstock 
that I had for the um, sunflowers. I just used the same piece and I'm just going to fussy cut this out and I don't have the right pair of scissors for this. I really don't like these scissors for this at all. I have a pair of really little ones but they're not in my hand and they're not immediately on my desk so you know and you're supposed to move your paper when you fussy cut it makes it so much easier to fussy cut There we go. Not the perfect fussy cutting, but fussy cutting nonetheless. We're going to use a few dimensionals on this. And we're going to pop this right on top of our card. There we go. And I have finished it off using some of the uh, brushed metallic jewels. And I've used a combination of gold ones and copper ones because I have gold and copper here. So really you could do whatever you wanted. If you have some leftover gilded gems, those would look really nice as well. So I'm going to use gold. I'm going to use a big one and a little one. And then I'm going to use a copper one, a little copper one over here to the side. There we go. And now, once you've got that all finished, you're literally just going to take this and pop it on top of a card base, which is what I need to do with this one. So let's go ahead and put this one on a card base. And you can decorate your insides with your leftover sunflower pieces that you've cut off. You could stamp another sunflower, put some sprigs in there. Really the choice is yours. I always try to do my insides. I don't always succeed in remembering to do the insides, but I do try to always do my insides. So there's your card. And let's see, I have an extra sprig of copper. I could stick on the inside. And I think I have a leaf around here. I did a bunch of leaves. Let's see what part of a sunflower would look like. Just do a part of a sunflower. That would have to be in the corner. So we could put him there. Have a sprig come out. Oh, that doesn't look good at all. Do it maybe like this. And the sprig coming out this way. Or we could take the tip. Really, what, I'm not going to do anything right now because I would rather just stamp something. And I don't want to waste your time with the stamp. But this is what I've got. These are my two cards. I think they came out absolutely gorgeous. I didn't think these two would look so good together. All right. What do y'all think? Tell me what you think. Leave me a comment. Um, I'd love to hear what you have to say. Again, those who actually leave me a comment like it share it um i'm gonna also put it on youtube so you can do that after the fact by the end of next week i'm gonna mail one of these cards out to a lucky winner on my page so y'all have a great day and i will see you next saturday for sure um as far as, well no wait next saturday i'm gonna be doing a um what am I doing next Saturday? I'm doing a yard sale or antique thing over at Red Buffalo. So I'm not sure that I will be live, but I should have something recorded for you. You all have a great day and we will see you next time. Bye y'all.